Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and it's time for our monthly roundup of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine throughout the month of April. This is a series where we take a look back at the last month to help us possibly draw conclusions on what we could be or should be mining in the future. Now, this is all speculative, but I have some data for you and that's what I want to share with you. This video is brought to you by JingleMine.com. Founded in Hong Kong, but located throughout the world, they are one of the leading ASIC mining distributors out there. They have a strong relationship with Jazz Miner, which means that they can provide you the best price and the latest info or updates for your Jazz Miner. And the new X16-Q is on pre-sale now and can hit 1.8 giga hash at only 630 watts on ETC hash. Lastly, they accept a number of cryptocurrencies as payment. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description and help support our channel by supporting its partners. So right now at time of filming, this series is taking six RTX 3060s and putting them against AMD's offering of the RX 6600 XT. Right now, six of the 3060s will net you about $1.50 a day, around $1.50 a day, and the 6700 XT is almost in that same ballpark. It's $1.50 to $1.20. It just ranges depending on the cryptocurrency you're mining and obviously the overclock settings you have, right? So hashrate.no shows you overclocks that are a little bit more milder, a little bit more efficient than what what to mine shows. They, what to my team has been trying to improve it, keep up with the various algorithms and various cryptocurrencies that have been coming out because there's honestly a lot of them right now. Uh, but we do have Radiant and Ironfish leading the charge. Doesn't matter if you're on NVIDIA, which is what we're looking at right now. We see Radiant, Chlor, Ironfish, Xano, a couple of Prog Pal, a couple of Blake 3s. Um, and then on the AMD side of things, same thing, right? If, if I switch between them, it's basically the same thing, right? The top three is Radiant, Chlor, Ironfish whether you're NVIDIA or AMD. And then obviously after that, it changes a little bit uh, depending on the card you have. Whereas what to mine is similar or in the same prospect, but AMD, uh, they're a little bit different, right? So Radiant, Ironfish, Core, Alpheum, but it has Ironfish, Radiant, and Caspa. And Caspa has been doing really well. Um, honestly, uh, it, this is the over the last 24 hours as far as profit but n none the same you're you, six six gpus whether it's the 6600 xts or the 3060s you're making about a dollar 40 something dollar 20 something a day after electricity you're either breaking even or you make it a little bit you know five cents a day 31 cents a day 51 cents a day almost as if you had an old asic so the top 10 most profitable cryptocurrency to mine if you had uh, six 3060s are as follows dynex radiant alpheum or I used to say it, Alephinum, Alphium, <laughs> Xano, Nexa, Caspa, Conflux, Flux itself, Chinet, and uh, Neoxa. If I said that correctly, did I get it right? Did I get it right, huh? All right. So uh, obviously Ravencoin, Clore was pulling up at the end, Meowcoin uh, really pumping up recently. Uh, project Dev went on with uh, a number of my colleagues and, and talked about the project and doing a really good job over there at Meowcoin. Uh, but we see some of the ProgPal variant tokens kind of falling back uh, compared to the beginning of this year, but they're still in the mixing, right? They're still in the grouping. Meowcoin, Clor, uh, Ravencoin, obviously not being consistently in the top 10 throughout the total 30 days, uh, but being in the mix and at, as well, uh, depending on the day, because right now the market's down. Uh, being profitable to mine on NVIDIA GPUs, as you can see. On the AMD side of things, the top 10 most profitable with your six RX 6600 XTs were Radiant, Alpheum, Caspa, Meowcoin, Neoxa, Haven, Ravencoin, Nexa, Chinet, and Conceal. Now, uh, Conceal, Ryo, the uh, Kryptonite underscore GPU algo type coins, have been in the mixing still. Conceal is actually doing really well in the top 10 most recently as far as the AMD side of things go, as you can see here. Uh, but it is towards the bottom of the top 10. And right now, we were mining, mining Conceal with our 6600 XTs. Our profit per day is about 46 cents. So it, again, in the ballpark, anywhere from $1.50 to $1.25 is what these cards, six of these cards, whether you're AMD or NVIDIA, are going to do. Uh, but how efficiency, how efficiently you run these cards is really what's going to determine your actual profits because of cost of electricity and everything. As far as, you know, what to mine 
if you had a mixed rig. Uh, again, if I switch between these two, if I go up to the top here and I switch between AMD and NVIDIA, they're, the top three are basically the same. Right now at time of filming, Chlor has been pushing up, but Ironfish, uh, you know, a lot of people are on that because of the not only the hype train, but uh, the, the project itself. A lot of people are skeptical of it, and I understand why. I have some few concerns myself, but either way, Iron Fish, if you're mining it, you could be mining it and auto switching it to whatever currency you want, just getting those profits as much as possible, whether it's Litecoin, Bitcoin, whatever you choose. Radiant, uh, staying consistently in the top 10 throughout much of the month for both sides of the cards, it just varies, right? Like Radiant's number two on NVIDIA side, um, and then it's number one on the AMD side. So Radiant is one I would keep an eye on. Alpheum is another one. Caspa. Uh, while it fell down for NVIDIA, uh, it's still looking good for AMD. And obviously, with all the FPGAs and specialized devices coming out, people with GPs might want to stack as much Casper as they possibly can before they can no longer mine it. Difficult to get so high uh, that you're not making crap per day. Uh, so keep that in mind. Meowcoin, also, while it's very low on NVIDIA side, uh, keep an eye on that one because it, it's been doing really good on the AMD side and really good on NVIDIA recently. But can it sustain? That's the biggest thing for me. Um, so some of the Prog Pal coins, whether it's Raven Coin, Neoxa, Chlor, Meow Coin, keep an eye on those guys. Uh, but Radiant, Alphium, Dynex, uh, which didn't do too well on the AMD side, did really well on NVIDIA. So that's not going to be your mix rig setup. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Um, that's pretty much it. Radiant, Alphium, maybe Caspa are the, are the three coins. Ironfish right now. It's not in the data because, again, the mainnet happened towards the end of April. But Ironfish would be another one that I would keep an eye on uh, to see how the project prevails or moves forward. But that's going to do it for today's video. So do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some of the links in the description. They'll support the channel. And what we do here, we do this every month. Monthly roundup. Check it out. Get subscribed. Hang out with us. We also do live streams every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Caffeine and crypto. I would love to have you. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.